Am I the asshole? For buying myself expensive clothes when my family struggles to make ends meet? I have recently started my first full-time job. I still live at home and pay $300 fortnightly for rent I pay for all my other necessities myself e.g. phone bill and hygiene products. My family has been very poor my whole life. As my mum is a single mum who is studying full-time, and looking after five children. I have a slight shopping addiction as lots of girls my age do and at least once a week some sort package food order is showing up at our doorstep. Today a new pair of jeans around $150 arrived as I was in desperate need for a new pair, as I've outgrown my old ones and my mum blew up at me. She called me selfish, insensitive and that she's ashamed I am her daughter, telling me that I should think about how it makes her feel when I buy an excessive amount of clothes, when she can barely afford to heat the house in the winter time. So am I the asshole for not offering to pay more rent and help more with my family of six's bills, or is she insane for asking me to stop spending my hard-earned money on things I want? Edit just a bit more context for everyone. The jeans were a nice pair of blue Levi's jeans, that should last me forever as they are such good quality, which is why they were so expensive. This is in Australian dollars as well. People who say I'm flaunting my money, I'd like to specify that I'm at work when the packages come so mum will take them in I have not asked her to do this and she or my sisters will always ask what it is to try it on and how much it was. Addressing the shopping addiction as well, I have a long list of mental health issues which I think contribute greatly to the addiction, but I am trying to get it under control. Now your money could be spent more wisely, but your urge to splurge is understandable since you grew up poor. My best advice to anyone who did not grow up with good financial role models is to educate yourself on financial literacy. Don't fall into the same trap as your mother, and don't swing too hard the other way. Making lots of money doesn't mean you know how to hold on to it. You're not an asshole, but you're acting stupid. I did the same in my early 20s when I lived at home and it's thousands I'll never see again on stuff I don't have use anymore. It could have been invested in a car, saving up for living alone, or travel. You need to learn how to budget things because eventually your mother will kick you out or you'll want to leave, which was my case and then you won't be able to pay for bills and luxuries. Info what do you mean by a slight shopping addiction? Nah. She didn't ask you to pay more. She just thinks you are being wasteful with money when it is so hard to come by in life. Info I'm honestly wondering what struggling in this case means. To me it means barely keeping bills from getting to disconnection point, worrying about having enough money to feed the children, and having to scrimp everywhere just to have enough for rent every month. Does your mum not get child support, a tax benefit for the kids, or student loan money? You're the asshole not because you bought expensive clothes, but because you refuse to help. No rent doesn't count, especially when you pay so little. You're privileged to only pay 600 a month. If they're struggling, surely you care? If you care then give them money to help. If you don't, you don't care. People with money forget they have the power to save someone's suffering. But all too often those with money feel they shouldn't have to help anyone. Not the asshole. But you really need to learn more about money. Are you saving anything? Making plans for the future? Thinking about moving out? Going to school? I had a boss once tell me you can spend your whole paycheck on lunch if you're not careful. Also, shopping addictions are not normal. Not the asshole. I would stop the spending and start to save to move out. I understand her frustration. Nah, but blaming your shopping addiction on being 18 is a weak excuse. I don't think you're the R. You pay rent that is fair. But, maybe it's her way of worrying? Yes it's your hard earned money, but maybe I say this as a person who learned the hard way she just wants you to be more mindful of it. So you can save and not get onto a position where you would have to scrape like her? She just maybe wants more for you? I'd that would be my take. 
Side note people who say stuff like don't get kids if you can't take care of them without context to the why of it, should not procreate. Ever. Not the asshole, but you seriously need to consider to slow down with your shopping addiction or you will end up in a similar financial situation on the long run. Learn from the mistakes your mother did and set aside a small amount monthly to get you started once you move out, which I rather would do sooner than later. Not the asshole however instead of buying yourself luxury items save every dime so you can move out. Get your shopping addiction under control soon. It might bite you in the ass one day. I must say not the asshole, but you should offer to help your mom out more if you see she's struggling as hard as you claim she is. Your choice though. You might end up homeless if you don't offer to help sometimes. Like once or twice every few months offer to help pay a bill or two. Not the asshole but be mindful of your spending and motivations. There's a layer of immaturity there and other commenters and myself are trying to warn you that it could trap you in the cycle of poverty. $150 isn't unreasonable to spend on jeans if they are a classic fit and color and you maintain the same size to wear them for years. Next time you're shopping, start pricing out the items you'll need when you move out. It may be easier to make smarter spending choices when you have to pick between dishes or a new top. Esh I understand you are flexing your new financial freedom, however it's poor form to waste money on ostentatious clothes purchases if you're living with your dirt poor family. The amount of people going in on the mum in this thread for making poor choices is disgusting. We know nothing about her circumstances, why she has five kids or is a single mum. Truly sickening responses all around. All we know of her choices is that she is studying while doing the above a good and difficult choice to make. Not the asshole, but a bit thoughtless know your mum's struggling, and I'm assuming she did her absolute best to raise you right? I'd help out because I could and they're my family, not because I had to but because that's what family does if you care about them. After all, if you lost your job, I bet you'd still expect help off of your mum even though you're an adult right? When did this addiction started? If it was long before you got a job what money were you even spending if your family is poor? I don't really want to give judgment but if your mum struggles to heat the house this affects you too you know. Nah. She may feel hurt that you're not helping your family, but you have all the right to spend your money as you want. You're already helping with paying rent, you're not living there for free. She could have asked for more money from you if she can't afford necessities, instead of just getting angry at you. Not the asshole, but do yourself an enormous favor and learn to budget and save now. I highly recommend the Inab You Need a Budget app. It's not free, but it is more than worth the cost, emo. If you learn to handle money well now, it will pay off enormously in the long run. Good luck. Not the asshole it's your money that you worked for however I strongly suggest you revise your spending. If you continue this way you'll dig yourself in a hole trying to keep up with the Joneses. Save a part of what you make every week.